Hey, what's up everybody? It's James Whitty here. I am the owner of Dark Horse Tattoo Company, and today we're gonna to talk about how much tattoos hurt. Now, I get asked the question of how much tattoos hurt all the time by newbies, but it's pretty hard to explain, like, as far as, like, quantifying how much it actually hurts. I feel like it's probably a better idea to just describe what it feels like because pain is pretty relative, you know? So from my own personal experience, I feel like a tattoo literally feels like somebody is scratching you with a needle. Some people compare it to a cat scratch where it's something that is definitely like a sharp pain that you're gonna be aware of right away as soon as it starts happening, but it's very likely that you'll be able to bear and withstand it and control yourself to keep from moving during the entire tattoo process. So now we're gonna go ahead and talk about three variables that will affect how much a tattoo actually hurts. And the most important one is probably gonna be the location of the tattoo. So people ask me the question all the time, where does a tattoo hurt the most? And my answer is always gonna be the number one place as far as common places to get a tattoo is gonna be the ribs. So the ribs hurts like a motherfucker and so does the sternum and the collarbone. Those are probably gonna be my top three as far as areas that hurt the most. Um, but definitely the spine hurts quite a bit. The top of the foot is above average. There are a couple of areas that smart quite a bit when you're getting a tattoo. And it's pretty common for people to wince and cringe and make faces and that sort of thing. I know I did when I got my chest done. I sit pretty good in other areas of the body. And I've sat for 12 hours straight one time, but definitely getting my chest, like the sternum collarbone area, that hurt like crazy. And I had to like make some faces just to keep the actual area that was getting tattooed from moving. Now, as far as the least painful area to get tattooed, I would say overwhelmingly without a doubt, it's gonna be the upper outer arm. So like the half sleeve area on the body, that's gonna hurt the least. Also keep in mind that in a certain area of the body, there can be variation in how much one area hurts versus another, even if they're only like a couple of inches apart. One thing that I've discovered is that the extremes of each body segment tend to hurt worse than the middle of that body segment. So for instance, like if you're getting tattooed on your forearm, the middle of the forearm is gonna hurt the least and the wrist and the elbow are gonna hurt the most. And if you're getting tattooed on your half sleeve, the bottom of your half sleeve, like close to your elbow is gonna hurt the most. So is the top, like up on the top of the deltoid, but the middle of the arm is gonna hurt the least. And that seems to be generally true for every area of the body that I've tattooed that's on a limb. The reasons for that, you know, I really don't know. I'm not a doctor, but I'm assuming that there's just more nerves like closer to joints because those are more important areas of the body where things can go wrong. And if things do go wrong there, then it's gonna be more detrimental to your survival, like from an evolutionary standpoint. So another variable that's really worth considering as far as how much a tattoo actually is gonna hurt is the size of the tattoo and the length of the tattoo session. So obviously a bigger tattoo is gonna mean a longer tattoo session. And for tattoo veterans out there, you guys probably all know that the longer you go in a session, the more the tattoo hurts. And actually, you know, it's a pretty significant difference in how much it hurts three hours or four hours in, as opposed to when you very first started. So pretty much like the timeline of the tattoo, like the pain curve, to me, it kind of goes like this. Early on in the tattoo session, it hurts quite a bit because your body, your, your body and your mind really aren't used to feeling the pain that you're feeling. So it is a little bit startling, it is a little, it is a little bit shocking. You have to put conscious effort into staying still during the first like 10 or 15 minutes. But once you're 15 minutes in, you kind of like start getting used to the situation. And I feel like the original like adrenaline spike that happens like from the buildup, like going into the tattoo, that kind of goes away. And after you kind of accept your circumstances and make peace with the fact that you're gonna be sitting there for a while in pain, it makes it a lot easier to sit there for quite a while. However, once you end up getting like three or four hours in, that curve reverses and the tattoo starts to hurt significantly more, mainly because the surface of the skin is getting pretty irritated and it starts to feel almost like a sunburn, like there's a burning sensation associated with it. A lot of clients actually say that the wiping, like from the paper towel wiping the ink and the blood off the surface of the skin during the process, the wiping starts to hurt significantly more than the needle once you get three or four hours in. So keep in mind that a long session is definitely gonna hurt quite a bit more than a short session as far as tattoos go. So the last factor to consider is gonna be your own personal pain tolerance. Everybody feels different levels of pain according to how much, you know, how many nerves they got in their fucking body or whatever. And some people can sit infinitely for a tattoo and just be fucking totally 
calm and collected about it for eight to ten hours like it's no problem for them and some people pretty much even on an easy area to get tattooed it's very very difficult for them to endure the pain and it's pretty much like a nightmare situation for them all the way through now that doesn't happen very often most people sit pretty good for tattoos especially the people that i tattoo um, but it's really difficult for me to know whether or not you're going to sit well for the tattoo i feel like most clients kind of have an idea of what their own personal pain tolerance is based on things that they've felt during their life and how they reacted to those things in the moment. One of my own personal theories is that pain is relative. So, you know, I explain this concept to my clients sometimes where, you know, when you're a baby and you're born, everything hurts to you. You know, the air is cold in your lungs, it's cold on your skin, the fucking lights in your eyes, everything makes you want to cry and everything sucks. But then once you get a little bit older, and you start getting used to that feeling, then obviously you don't cry just from feeling the air anymore. You don't cry just from, you know, having it on your skin, the, the cool air on your skin or air in your lungs or whatever it is anymore. Um, but then other things start to make you cry. Like, you know, a little kid might barely bump his head up against like a table or something like that, and that will make him cry. But then when you get older, you know, you stub your toe and it hurts even worse than that. But you don't cry, you just cuss, you know? So I feel like People that have been through a shitload of pain in their life typically sit very well for tattoos. Like for instance, I've never tattooed a mom, somebody that's given birth, that sat poorly. Never, not even once. Every mom that I've tattooed has sat at least at an average level for tattooing. Likewise, I've never tattooed like somebody that was a hardcore skateboarder when they were a teenager that sat poorly. Because those dudes, you know, they busted up their shins, they've uh, done all these off of uh, fucking staircases and landed on rails on their nuts or whatever. And those guys have been through so much pain that their measuring stick for what is painful and what is not has been adjusted to a great degree to where now a tattoo really isn't that big of a deal for them. So as far as having a pain tolerance that is so low that completing a tattoo is gonna be impossible for you, the likelihood of that is extremely low. As a matter of fact, I've only had one client ever in my whole career out of the hundreds if not thousands of tattoos that I've done, I've only had one client quit on me mid-tattoo and she ended up getting about two lines into a mandala and just looked at me and said, you know what dude, I don't think I can do this. And personally, I was kind of relieved because I didn't think that I could do a good job on that tattoo with how much she was moving. And I ended up not charging her for the tattoo and she left and that was pretty much you know, the last time I saw her. And she does have those two lines permanently on her back but it was better to have those two lines than end up with a really large tattoo that wasn't well done because she couldn't st sit still for the tattoo. So the odds are very low and most likely you'll be fine for the tattoo. So now that I've discussed what the tattoo actually feels like and some variables that will affect how much the tattoo hurts, let's talk about some ways that you can go ahead and reduce the amount of pain that you're feeling during a tattoo session. Probably the most important thing that you can do as far as reducing the amount of pain that you feel and making sure you can get through the tattoo session, especially if it's a long one, is gonna be sleeping well and eating a big meal before you get to your tattoo appointment. So don't go out partying all night, drinking or whatever, and then come in the next day because if you already don't have like homeostasis, like if you already don't feel like your body feels good in general just existing and sitting there, then it's very unlikely that you're gonna have a pleasant time while you're sitting there actually getting a tattoo. The tattoo is just gonna exacerbate whatever fatigue or exhaustion you have, and it's really gonna fuck your whole life up at that moment. Also, eating a big meal is really important. Some people, when they get a tattoo, especially for their first one, they have like this vaso response where their blood vessels, they'll go ahead and constrict and it makes it so that they get tunnel vision and some of them actually like pass out. This actually happens to a lot of people when they're going and getting blood drawn or getting a shot, um, like with a syringe that goes into their vein or something like that at the doctor's office. But it is important to mention that if that does happen to you, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna happen with a tattoo because I have plenty of clients that can't get shots or get vaccinated or that sort of thing without freaking out but they have no problem whatsoever getting tattooed so the two sensations are related but they are different at the same time and one doesn't necessarily guarantee one reaction doesn't necessarily guarantee the same reaction with the other activity but it is important to make sure that you eat a good meal beforehand because having proper blood sugar levels it really helps you so that you you won't feel like you're going to pass out during the tattoo or at least the likelihood of it will be greatly reduced now, me personally, when people start 
feeling like they're gonna pass out, usually the first signs that I notice is that they start complaining about how it feels really hot or they start feeling like they're really sweaty or they start feeling like they're really thirsty. So if you start getting tunnel vision or if you feel like you're super hot or super thirsty during your tattoo, then let your artist know so that he knows that you're probably about to go ahead and fall out. That way he can stop tattooing you and monitor you and make sure that you don't like hit your head on the floor or something like that. Usually afterwards what we do is we'll go ahead and get you like a cold drink, um, you know, maybe like a water or something with sugar in it, like a soda, Sprite, whatever, and we'll go ahead and get you like a candy bar or give you a cookie or something just to get your blood sugar up. Every time that that's happened to me during a tattoo session, um, giving them a drink and giving them a little snack has, and giving them time to rest has actually helped the person tremendously and they've been able to continue with the tattoo and finish it all the way through. So if that does happen to you, it's not that big of a deal, but make sure that you are careful in looking for it if you think that that might happen to you and recognize when it's happening. Another thing that's worth considering if you're concerned with whether or not you're gonna be able to sit through a tattoo and you wanna reduce the amount of pain, is you wanna go ahead and just start small and start on an easy location. So we talked about the size of the tattoo and you know why larger tattoos hurt more. We talked about the location of a tattoo and which areas hurt the most. Start somewhere where it's gonna be fairly easy, you know, like the inner forearm, the outer upper arm, maybe like the calf or something like that. For a lot of people, that's pretty painless. Um, start in an area where you're gonna, you know, be confident that you can go ahead and sit through the entire tattoo and get something small and test the waters before you actually plunge into getting a larger piece if you are concerned that you won't be able to sit. Now, the last thing that I can recommend as far as trying to reduce the amount of pain during a tattoo is you can use a variety of tattoo numbing products. Now, most of these products have the ingredient lidocaine in them, and they are a topical product that actually numbs the skin um, during the tattoo session, and they don't necessarily take all the pain away, but they do significantly decrease it. And later on, I'm gonna make a video where I review uh, a good amount of these products right here and kind of talk in depth about what they do and what my opinion on each specific one is. So stay tuned for that if you're interested in that sort of information. And if I end up making that video later on, I'm definitely gonna go ahead and post a link in the description uh, below on this video after the fact. Okay, we've talked about what it feels like. We've talked about different areas of the body and how much they hurt and also different you know variables that can make a tattoo hurt more or less and we've talked about things that you can do to try to make the tattoo as painless as possible for yourself now with all that said the last thing that i want to say before i start wrapping this video up is that if the tattoo does hurt if you get in the chair and shit starts hitting the fan and you're like oh crap like i don't know if i can do this this is getting real right now just remember that it is of the utmost importance that you stay still during the tattoo so the tattoo might hurt in an excruciating way where you feel like this is probably the worst thing you've ever went through as far as pain goes. You know, a lot of people, it is on that level for them, even though for most it's not. If that's the case though, and it's really hurting you a lot, make sure that you stay still and that you keep your composure throughout the tattoo session. Understand that if you end up moving around a whole bunch, then it's gonna make the tattoo take longer because the tattoo artist is gonna be making small mistakes during the tattoo because of your movement, and he's gonna spend extra time trying to correct those mistakes and make the tattoo look as good as he can. So it's very important that you have self-control and that you just go to your happy place and really just focus on staying as still as you can. And really, it's, it's important for you to remember that the pain is temporary. You know, but the tattoo lasts forever and it's gonna look that way for the rest of your life. So you have to have your game face on and you have to try your hardest to make sure that you're doing a good job as the client to make it so that the tattoo is in a position or the tattoo artist is in a position where he can do the best job possible. Most clients, in my experience, they overhype the amount of pain that they're gonna feel during the tattoo. And they're actually pleasantly surprised when they start getting the tattoo. They think, oh shit, this is it right here. Like I was making all that fuss about nothing you know, building it up into this huge moment and then really in the end it ends up being not too big of a deal for them. And maybe I'm just lucky and I get a lot of clients like that, but I feel like the majority of people handled it pretty well. So don't let this video right here deter you from getting a tattoo if you've been thinking about it. Just make sure that you are aware of this information and that you, if you know that you have a low pain tolerance, then start off small and start an easy area. But other than that, I think you should be fine. Again, my name is James Withy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be on the lookout for that video where we uh, talk about all the different numbing products and stuff like that, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.